Hello and welcome to this podcast by the Grand Piano Series in Naples, Florida. I'm Mark Travis. I'm a nationally syndicated writer and producer, and I currently head up the media production department at the New York Philharmonic. On this episode, we hear highlights from a recital Roman Rabinovich gave at the Vanderbilt Presbyterian Church on December 10th, 2019. A passionate visual artist and composer, as well as a brilliant pianist, Mr. Rabinovich's programming was inspired by the art of Pablo Picasso. Picasso has been a great influence on every artist for the past uh, 100 years. And so I wanted to build a program around his life and his paintings. And each piece has a connection, sometimes close connection, sometimes loose connection, but some connection to Picasso. We'll hear music by Tsipoli, Debussy, Sati, Gershwin, and Roman Rabinovich just ahead. This recital was generously co-underwritten by Stephen Nesbitt and Kay Moore. The mission of the Grand Piano Series is to preserve and present great piano literature featuring artists of the highest caliber. Its vision is to inspire people of all ages to discover the beauty and richness of classical piano music through performance, study, and uncompromising excellence of outstanding musical experiences. More information is available when you visit grandpianoseries.org. Roman Rabinovich graduated from the Curtis Institute of Music as a student of Seymour Lipkin and earned his master's degree at the Juilliard School, where he studied with Robert MacDonald. He made his Israel Philharmonic debut with Zubin Mehta at age 10, and was top prize winner at the 12th Arthur Rubinstein International Piano Master Competition in 2008. He was selected by Sir Andras Schiff as one of three pianists for the inaugural Building Bridges series, created to highlight young pianists of unusual promise. As mentioned, his recital in Naples, Florida was inspired by Pablo Picasso, and the curtain raiser was the keyboard suite number two in G minor by Bach and Handel contemporary Domenico Zipoli. Roman Rabinovich tells us more. Well, I've always loved early Picasso's copies of old masters. And I was thinking, what can I do to have a feeling of the old Baroque style? So I was researching and found this wonderful Italian master, Domenico Zipoli, who was a fantastic composer, also lived in Spain and later moved to South America. Uh, This was in 18th century, to become a missionary there. And he died quite early from disease, but he left us uh, a few suites, which are wonderful. Very distinct, kind of a combination of the Italian and French style. And let's hear the Corrente from the keyboard suite number two in G minor, opus one, number 18, by Domenico Zipoli. Roman Rabinovich is the pianist.
From the lesser-known world of Tsipoli, we now travel to more familiar ground, for pianists anyway, with La Soiree d'en Grenade from Debussy's Estampe. This too relates to Picasso in a way, as Mr. Rabinovich explains. The second piece is from Spain, hence Picasso connection, and it's called uh, The Evening in Granada with the typical habanera rhythm. Thank you. 
recorded live at the Vanderbilt Presbyterian Church in Naples, Florida, that was La Soirée dans Grenade from Estamp, or Postcards, by Claude Debussy. Roman Rabinovich was the pianist for the Grand Piano Series. Eric Satie was Debussy's junior by four years, and he outlived the older composer by seven years, passing away in 1925. Debussy called him Mr. Precursor, and indeed, his was a voice often ahead of its time. While we know rather little about the man himself, we do know that he kept company with some of the greatest artistic talents of his time, including Ravel, Stravinsky, Gertrude Stein, Jean Cocteau, and Pablo Picasso. Once again, Roman Rabinovich. Satie was a great original. He was unlike anyone else. He was a very peculiar character, absolutely unique and was a great influence on people like Debussy and Picasso worked with him on Parade, also for, for Diaghilev and Belarus later on. And this is a beautiful piece called Nocien, uh, the first Nocien, and he invented new forms, new musical forms that are just unlike anything else. Nocien No. 1 by Eric Satie, 
Roman Rabinovich was the pianist as recorded for the Grand Piano Series. We mentioned earlier that Roman Rabinovich is not only a pianist, but also a visual artist and a composer. And he began pursuing both of these disciplines from a relatively early age, as we hear him explain. Well, I've always wrote something. When I was, I don't know, 10 or 11, I started just uh, writing what I was playing, I guess, I suppose. And I had a great theory teacher that um, inspired me to continue that. So I think it came from improvisation first and led to writing it down. As a kid, I, I really wanted to touch the material, and painting really gave me that. So my parents took me to museums since I was very little, and uh, I was obsessed with uh, biographies of artists, and that kind of led me to painting, I suppose, and I enjoy it very much. Yeah. Mr. Rabinovich programmed one of his own works for this recital, a brilliant capriccio entitled A Clown on a Bicycle. Here he is again to tell us more about the piece. This piece is about a meandering clown, and he goes from place to place, and um, I thought it would be appropriate to put it in this program because of Picasso's rose period and his depiction of clowns and acrobats. It's quite a, a virtuosic piece uh, with different piano techniques.
Clown on a Bicycle, music by Roman Rabinovich from 2016. The composer was the pianist from the Grand Piano Series in Naples, Florida. We conclude with music of George Gershwin. Now while performances of the Rhapsody in Blue or the Concerto in F are fairly common, Gershwin's other works for the piano are heard considerably less often, especially in recital programs. We're going to hear one of the three preludes he composed in 1926. Roman Rabinovich gives us a quick intro before performing it. Well, these three preludes are mini Rhapsody in Blue, really. I mean, they have the flair, the soul, the virtuosity of the famous pieces that you mentioned, but just in miniature form. third and final prelude from a set of three composed by George Gershwin in 1926. Roman Rabinovich was the pianist, bringing our podcast to a close. You can learn more about Roman Rabinovich and even see samples of his visual art when you visit his website, romanrabinovich.net. And you can learn more about the Grand Piano Series at www.grandpianoseries.org. There you'll find information on upcoming concerts, as well as information about auditioning for the series, plus underwriting and volunteer opportunities. The address again is www.grandpianoseries.org. Milana Strezova is the co-founder and artistic director of the Grand Piano Series with Raniero Tazzi. And for now, until next time, this is Mark Travis, wishing you good health and good music. <laughs>